Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to be attempting to charge these alkaline batteries. Now these are AAA size uh, alkaline batteries and I got these batteries uh, in my Logitech keyboard. This is the Logitech K230 and it takes about two uh, AAA size batteries. So these batteries came in this keyboard and I've been using this keyboard continuously. Heavy usage every day for about three to three and a half hours every day and these batteries during that kind of uh, heavy usage lasted me for about seven seven and a half months so i am very very impressed with these batteries uh, so uh, gp alkaline batteries are definitely uh, good quality batteries in my experience so far so in, i've seen a lot of videos where people are attempting to charge uh, alkaline batteries but none of the video uh, clarifies whether you can whether it works and it's uh, it's always like uh, can't really trust them whether it is actually working or not so i wanted to try myself and in this video i'm going to be using this uh, uh normal charger this is not a smart charger because i fear a smart charger may stop uh charging batteries if it may detect uh, the batteries kind of batteries so let's turn it on and before we do that let me just measure the voltage here is our uh, multimeter if you can see let's measure the voltage so this is the first battery and we are getting about 1.15 volt let's check the other battery as well we're getting 1.17 volt so in my keyboard logitech q230 when the voltage goes below about 1.16 volt uh, the keyboard stops working so i have to constant con constantly turn on and turn off uh, turn off turn off and turn on the keyboard to make it work and then it works for like a few seconds then it again stops working so let's keep the multimeter aside and plug this in and if you look closely you will see that there is a small warning focus there we go may explode or leak if recharged so let's just try anyways so the LED is glowing that means it is it has detected the battery and it is charging so let's check the time so it is about 453 454 and let's charge these batteries for about uh, 30 minutes so we will check back about uh, 5 530 about 530 pm and just for edit safety i'm going to use this uh, digital thermometer let's put it aside so that we can see the temperature as well i hope you can see there we go and i'm going to put the temperature probe in between the batteries so that we are getting a temperature of the batteries so the current temperature you can see uh, on the batteries or the ambient temperature at this moment is about is about 31 degrees celsius and i will stop charging when the temperature will go above at least uh, 40 degrees celsius Okay, so we've been charging these alkaline batteries using this charger and it's been about let's check so we started to charge these batteries at about uh, 454 and it's about 651 so a more than one and a half hour now almost approaching two hours mark and the temperature is 36 degrees celsius it did reach uh, more than 40 degrees celsius and when i turned on the fan the temperature uh, started reducing so let's take it out the batteries are not warm and despite all the warnings the batteries did not leak or blast so in the beginning we checked the voltage and they were about uh, 1.16 uh, 1.15 and as well as the 1.17 volt so let's check the voltage now uh, positive negative negative positive to positive and the voltage is 1.37 volt of one battery let's check the other battery 
the voltage is 1.67 volt so this battery is charging more when compared to that battery so now i'm not going to use these batteries just yet uh, i'm going to wait for one or two days and we will see whether these are able to hold any charge or not so let's check back after two days hello everyone so this is the uh, second day of testing and uh, we charged these alkaline batteries yesterday and the charging bolt uh, before charging uh, the voltage was uh, one of the battery voltage was 1.15 volt and the other battery was at 1.17 volt after charging the voltage were 1.37 volt and the other battery was at 1.67 volt so it is after uh, about 24 hours now let's check back again so let's check one of the batteries negative to negative positive to positive so one of the batteries is reduced the voltage from 1.67 volt to 1.49 volt let's write that down 1.49 let's check the other battery as well and this battery is reduced voltage to 1.27 volt so let's write that down as well 1.27 volt so both of the batteries have lost uh, charge so let's see whether they will remain at the same voltage once we put some load on it and to test that i've got a small led flashlight bulb here let's connect that to one of the batteries and let's see if it, if it will glow so as you can see it is not glowing let's reverse back the connection to make sure we are not and it is not glowing so let's check the another other battery as well nope the LED is not glowing the other way and it is not glowing now since this was a load and even though it didn't light up but it must have taken some energy from the batteries let's check back the voltage again and let's see if we have reduced some of the voltage the battery is still at 1.27 volt and the other battery if we check is it still at 1.49 volt so for so far the batteries are holding charge let's check back tomorrow okay so let's just put these batteries uh, in my uh, keyboard so here is my logitech g uh, k230 let's take the batteries out batteries are in turn it on let's see how long uh, this works after charging the keyboard is definitely working as you can see let me just type something on the keyboard every key is working and let's see whether it the batteries last a day or not whether charging alkaline alkaline batteries is worth or not so i'll see you tomorrow okay so today is the day and the battery of my keyboard finally died off and if you remember we charged the batteries on the 3rd of october and if you look at my phone today is 20th of december so the batteries lasted more than two and a half months uh, a couple more days than two and a half months and the batteries finally died off so when we charge the batteries alkaline batteries uh, the battery of the dead batteries the voltage of the dead batteries were about 1.15 volt and uh, another battery was at 1.17 volt and we then we charged the batteries 
After charge, we got the voltage as 1.37 volt and 1.67 volt, and we added the battery inside this Logitech uh, K240. I don't remember the model number of this keyboard. In this keyboard, uh, it takes a it takes two uh, AAA size batteries, and then. I've been using this keyboard without any problem. I haven't had any connectivity issues. The only uh, fear I had was uh, battery leaking. So without any further delay, let's just quickly take out the batteries and check the final voltage. So here is the keyboard. The reason I'm using a plastic wrapping is because I have spilled uh, tea and water many times on my keyboard that's why I am using a uh, plastic wrapping around my keyboard so let's take out the batteries these are triple A size batteries that you get with your device when you first buy them and as you can see so far the battery hasn't leaked we are good to go the battery looks very good in condition so let's check the battery voltage here is my uh, multimeter so let's check the battery voltage of this battery first negative to negative and positive to positive and you can see we are getting 1.14 volt and previously we were getting 1.15 volt let's check it again the second battery and we can see that we are getting about 1.12 volts so we can say that the batteries did last we were able to charge these batteries alkaline batteries and these are non rechargeable alkaline batteries and there is warning clearly written on, written on them that you're not supposed to charge these batteries but we did charge them we were able to get the voltages of 1.37 and 1.67 volt and they worked for about more than two and a half months so they worked in october uh, november and they lasted more than half a month of december so if you wanted to know whether you can charge alkaline batteries non rechargeable the answer is yes but it comes with your own risk because uh, some people say that these can uh, leak uh, over time and I don't want to destroy the terminals of my keyboard or any other gadget that I want to use with these batteries. However, I'm not going to try to recharge them again. I will try to recharge them again, but I will not use them in my keyboard anymore. I will replace my keyboard with new couple of fresh alkaline or perhaps uh, rechargeable batteries so there we go this was my video on whether you can recharge alkaline batteries or not in this test we found that yes you can it will give you about one third of the total that the originally that the originally battery lasted and if you are in a hurry and you want something uh, to work you can definitely uh, try this at home so there we go this was my video thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye